If we don't solve carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse emissions, we're in a real danger of facing a climate catastrophe. It's pretty well established that climate change is already here and happening. We've got to use materials like green hydrogen, like solar PV, like offshore wind, to be able to address the whole energy challenge that we're facing. Wind energy is a clean fuel source. This means it doesn't emit any greenhouse gases and therefore doesn't cause any harm to the environment. We develop coatings for wind turbines and this protects them, allowing them to generate more energy for longer. You know, the sun beams 470 exajoules of energy onto the Earth's surface every 88 minutes, enough to power the planet for an entire year. We're a company developing a new kind of solar cell, and this particular solar cell is based on a new material, or solar cells, known as perovskite. So not only is the perovskite a great new material for solar, it's a sustainable material. We have at hand the solution to our planet's problem with respect to the sustainable energy crisis. So I mean, electric cars are important because they lower the carbon emissions, so compared to diesel and petrol, it's much better for the environment. Lithium and cobalt are the main metals used in car batteries, and the main problem is we're running out of these sources, we have a limited supply. What I'm working on is the best ways to recycle lithium-ion batteries from electric cars. So everything that we do is about bringing a fast charge to lithium-ion batteries that you can't get today, charging in six minutes or less. People want to charge their batteries quickly so they can keep using them, and they just can't do that with the current technology. We're in the Echion Labs, where we've developed our six-minute fast-charging battery technology. We've done this with our anode active materials, based on niobium, and put these into lithium-ion cells, as you can see here, to have that six-minute charge. We can take products that would normally have gone to landfill, waste products, including plastic, including car tires, and we can repurpose those so this is an example of a paper bottle that we developed. We used chemistry to get the same performance as plastic and glass, and it could replace plastic and glass in the future. Our catalyst takes carbon dioxide that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere and turns it into polymers, like this one. These polymers can be used in furniture, cars, and clothing. This is a very sustainable product, as we use a waste from pineapple harvesting to make it. So we get the fibers from the farmers, then uh, is where you need to understand the chemistry. It goes from a biochemical process, like for purification. It's been used for shoes, bags, and many other products. What you, you do, it has a meaning. We need the next generation of chemists to make a difference and make the world a better place to live.